Another improper integral, the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity, x times e to the negative x squared. Unfortunately, we see both infinities right here, the negative and the positive infinity. And remember, we can only deal with one infinity at a time in the integral. So we have to break this apart into two pieces. So this is what we can do. For the first integral that we can you know, break it apart, I will start off with negative infinity as well and end with some number. And then I'm just going to leave it right here. The inside will stay the same, x times e to the negative x squared dx. And then we will combine with the second integral. And then for the starting number right here, this number has to be the same as that number of your choice. And then the top right here will be the infinity. And of course, the inside will be x times e to the negative x squared dx. And now the question is, what should I pick for this number and that number? As long as it's finite, as long as they are the same, it's OK. You can put one right here, one right here, that's good. You can put like five right here, five right here. But then you cannot beat the zero here, the zero here. Perhaps that's the easiest. So that's why I choose the zero and zero. OK. So for the rest is, I'm going to integrate this guy and then believe in my limits, work it out. If I get a final answer, that will be the answer. If I don't, then that means the integral diverge. So we will have to get the antiderivative of this guy. So you can watch this video right here, and then you can see how we can do the antiderivative. But I will tell you, the answer for this is going to be negative 1 half e to the negative x squared for the antiderivative portion. And then for the first part, we're going to focus on from negative infinity to zero. So this is the first part to focus. And then the second part, once again, I have to do the antiderivative, and then it's going to be the same antiderivative because the insides are the same. We will have negative 1 over 2 e to the negative x squared. But then in this part, we are going to go from zero to positive infinity. And hopefully, I can get a final answer from both of these. If not, then that means this, two, this integral diverge. So for the first part right here, I'm going to plug in 0 into x first and then subtract, right? So we are going to have negative 1 over 2 e to the negative 0 to the second power. But then let me just show you. Here I have my 0, and then here I have my square. So this is the first part after I plug in 0 into x. And then I will subtract. Plugging negative infinity into this x, we have negative 1 half e to the negative, then open the parentheses, and then plugging negative infinity into x. But then we still have this part being squared. Okay? So that's the first part from here. And now to add this part, and what do I do? Well, I plug in infinity into x first, so I will have negative 1 half e to the negative, then open the parentheses, we have the negative here. And inside of this parentheses, we have positive infinity. And then we have to do this square. And then we will subtract, and you plug in 0 in here. And this is going to be negative 1 half, and we have e to the negative 0 squared. So let me just do this for you guys. 0 squared. So that's the setup. Not too easy, not too hard. Everyone can handle this, right? All right, so this is going to be what? This is good because this is e to the 0, which is just going to be 1. Negative 0, which is the same as 0. So we have negative 1 half for this parentheses. And what's this? Check this out. This is e to the negative, but then you look at this. This is negative infinity to the infinity, which is negative infinity, right? This is infinity. But then you have this negative, e to the negative infinity. This part is going to be 0. Minus 0 plus, how about this one? Well, infinity to a second power is infinity. e to the negative infinity is 0. And negative 1 half times 0, it's once again 0. And the last part is what? e to the 0 power, which is 1, but this is negative 1 half, we we'll subtract negative 1 half, so we plus the 1 half, right? And what does this mean? This is negative 1 half plus 
positive one half, right? We combine these two. This is negative one half, this is positive one half. The answer is zero. And the value of this guy, the integrals converge. And the answer for that is zero. And this is how we do it.